are lots of cool secrets in management studio when it comes to writing and editing T-SQL. One very simple thing is just indenting code. I can highlight a whole block of code and then use tab to indent across the screen and use shift tab to edge my way back and untab to the left. Similarly, I can comment and uncomment blocks of text really easily. And I love this one. It's another one of our chords. This one is control K. That's the first part of our chord. And we'll see this little message at the bottom of the screen saying, hey, I'm waiting for more. And the second part of the chord to comment it out is control C. Now I had a hard time remembering this one and I can do it repeatedly. If I wanna add a lot of comments, I can just control K, control C like crazy. Merrill Aldrich on Twitter gave me the tip that he remembers this with the mnemonic, control Kansas City. And for whatever reason that has stuck with me for years, so thank you Merrill. To uncomment, I can do control K with followed by control U which I remember as uncontrolled Kansas City. So thank you, Kansas City. I think of you a lot when I'm editing code in Management Studio because this comes in handy a whole lot. You know, a lot of times I have a big script block and I just don't want to run part of it, but I, you know, I want to keep it. So I just want to temporarily control K, control C, and I feel like a magician. It's really fun. One thing that, didn't feel like a magician though for a long time was just scripting out indexes in SQL Server. And I, I actually thought this was a bug, but there are settings that we can control in Object Explorer that control things about like whether or not SQL Server will script out things like data compression on an index or whether or not it uses a partition scheme. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this index has data compression on it in the wide world importer sample database. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check my setting for this. Under tools and options, I need to scroll all the way down. And maybe this is why I never noticed this. It's tucked away at the bottom. Maybe that's my excuse, I don't know about that, but expand SQL Server Object Explorer and go to scripting. And there are so many cool things in here. You may want to tweak more than the two that I do. I like to make sure that script data compression options is set to true. This defaults to false. So I'm gonna double click here to toggle this one to true. And then another one that I like to do is to make sure, and it's always, it's always fun to find this one, to make sure script partition schemes, I just toggled it, is set to true. That one also defaults to false. Now this index isn't partitioned, but it is compressed. So with those set, when I click okay, if I go into Object Explorer, and navigate to sales.customers in the wide world importer sample database. Here is sales.customers. This is the index that is FK sales.customers alternate contact person ID. It's this first index in the list. So I'm gonna right click this and say script index as create. Because of misclicks, I always try to go as slow as I can in Management Studio and I say new query editor window. And now when I look in my with options, data compression equals page was scripted out, but that's only because I actually went into my tools and tweaked my Object Explorer scripting properties saying I would like you to script that out. And this is something I've had multiple folks ask me about. I actually thought this was a bug in Management Studio. I tweeted about it because I was looking to see if someone had filed the bug. And Adam Mechanic said, oh no, you can just set that in the scripting options. And wow, amazing, I love it, I love it. It makes life much easier to be able to script those out. Another thing that it's really useful to save time with in Management Studio is just typing out table and object names. So let's say that I 
want to query the website.suppliers table, but I, I'm feeling a little, a little bit lazy. Oh, it's a view. It's not actually a table. This works with views too. So we've got a view named website.suppliers. Now you may be familiar with the fact that you can drag the name of the table over. Let's do that first. I'm gonna grab the name of the table and drag it into the from. Very cool, right? But actually it gets cooler. If I want all the columns in the table, I can actually drag the whole folder. I am grabbing the whole columns folder and dragging that over and saying, I want all of these columns typed out. Now you may, you may notice a difference. It did put the quoted safety brackets around our view name, but it didn't safety quote bracket out or, or quote name with brackets, any of my column names. Well, a community member made a suggestion and said, hey, could you quote name those two? And the suggestion has been currently just recently closed as fixed. It hasn't shown up in the product yet, but I do think in a soon in a release of management studio, when you drag that columns folder over, I think you'll see some safety brackets here. And now of course we can edit it however we want. Really, really that can be super useful. It was Jimmy May, uh, another community member who first showed me that trick with dragging the brackets or the whole column folder over at a SQL Saturday one. So thank you so much, Jimmy. Another thing that I sometimes use is, especially if I don't want all the columns, maybe I just want one or two columns, but I don't really want the whole SP help for the table. I just quickly want to know what columns are in a table. Well, I can do select star. And when I do select star, if I, if I am using the mouse and I hover the mouse in the exact right place, I can get a tool tip that has the column names as well as the data types. But what if I don't wanna use the mouse? Well, if I type out select star from the table name, I can do another chord. I can do control K followed by control I. That is the quick info chord. And let's see if we can actually zoom at the magical moment where we get it not grayed out. There we go. But as soon as I click, it's grayed out. But essentially, Control K and Control I will give me that same list of quick info for the column names. In this case, let's say I want, okay, I want buying group name. I can start typing and I want buying group name. And now, oh, I forgot what the list is. I can do it again and say, oh, actually now, okay, I want valid too. And I'm gonna auto complete that. And oh, maybe one more, <laughs> right? So as it can be, a really useful way to see those names and it can work really nicely with IntelliSense's other features.